You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. What are you talking about? He didn't tell you. He killed someone before all of this. He was a convicted murderer. Is that true, Lee? Yes. So, Doug is dead, which, who cares, he was that? useless. You got a little uh, <laughs> and so, now everybody so, knows that Lee is a murderer, because we didn't have Carly with us. Get in, Lee. Let's yeah, go. but Lily does this. Tell anyone. Lily, Lily left. commits a murder, or commits a murder, and then she's like, "Well, Lee's a murderer, so <laughs> like, clearly it's so, okay." <laughs> Best case, maybe she was hoping it would lead to more confessions. Like you're like, "Oh heck no!" But Kenny murdered somebody too, and then you're all like, "Well, hands up, who's not murdered somebody?" And everybody raises their hands and like. Okay, get back in the RV. <laughs> Darn this, uh, the choice of whether to bring Lily with you or not was a pretty interesting one, I think, for Lee? me. It doesn't really I'm have a significant please. gameplay impact. Um, if you bring her with you, uh, she steals the RV, but it doesn't matter because the RV is basically <laughs> out of gas by this next point anyway, so What's big up? deal. Um, is Doug feeling all right? But she killed Carly, who was probably the character I got along with the most in my my first playthrough. And I brought her with me for some reason, and I'm still not really sure why I did that. Because I mean, it was you one didn't of those want, things like, where... to make another rash decision. It's gonna turn. We don't know that. Gotcha. That was why I kept it. Yeah. It wasn't because I thought that she deserved anything after she just did something so unforgivable. It's because this whole situation resulted from screaming at each other by the side of the road in the middle of a tense chase and we're all exhausted and haven't had any sleep or food. The last thing we needed was for another summary execution. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would So I'm I'm seeing a slight wrinkle in our make Kenny best buds forever plan here, which is that we didn't bring Carly and thus could not tell anyone about the fact that we murdered people and now Kenny's mad. Well, Kenny's just angry I will add general. to my list of why yeah. Seamus is a bad person. Duck is bit. Uh, well, Kenny is also mad because his son is going to one die, one and I think that weighs heavily on him at this moment. Yeah. I Spoilers. don't feel good. Uh, they did that? just sort of reveal the bite. Yeah, I don't know if you're paying any attention. <laughs> Gone. No, no, no. They, yeah, they, uh, he, they just told us that he was bitten. Right. No, I know. I'm just saying, you know, maybe he lives. Right, but, but Red Scar wasn't <laughs> sure if we spoiled because Seamus wasn't paying attention. Oh, this next part's kind of... And we go from one of the most awkward scenes to, I think, this is one of the better ones, where it's just you and Clementine. Any scene with you and Clementine yeah. is basically the highlight of the series. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It all works. And, you know, this is where they break from the TV show. Okay, the kid isn't this, um, stupid TV cherub that's just perfect and angelic. She's uncertain. But she's also, you know, she feels like a real kid and not like this magical oracle of wisdom or this terrible burden on you, which is the way TV like to go. No, TV no, no, shows no, no. like to go. I, I, the, or the, 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 Mayor TV show, the TV show, in my experience, likes to use Carl at least up through season two as sort of a plot point. Um, you know, the whole is he. Uh, uh, Shane's kid, or is he Rick's kid? You know, really, who does he consider his father? Do we what? train him to kill and be heartless for survival, or do we train him to be merciful Wait, and maybe make him weak? Of what happens if I lose this? Oh, okay, that happened. Yeah. Probably I figured you wouldn't get a game win, over yeah. in a dream. It was um, pretty convincing for a moment, though. Like, yeah. for a second, I was like, what the, what? Oh, man. And then, and it, it only lasts a second, so it works. I also right. like that, in sort of that metagame sense, you know they have a zombie Clementine art asset now, and that sort of seeds that in the oh. back of your head, that they could you use You know, it. that didn't even occur to me. Yeah, I never even thought about it that way. Yeah, but that's true.
<laughs> it's a very um, wide RV. Yeah. I guess it has. But I guess they all are, but yeah. The moments with Clementine are when we get furthest from the TV show, and we have these two characters that obviously care about each other and have a really good dynamic, and it works as a video game and it? as a piece of drama. Doesn't look like it. On the, foot, the, maybe. the two things it's and trying to do here to come together. And it seems so stated enough and casual enough that it never comes off as saccharine either. Right. Even so, uh, even if we look at at, at uh, Lee and Kenny as parallels for uh, for Rick and Shane, yeah, I'd say relax. that Lee and Kenny have a way better and more interesting Lee, relationship. To drink, Ironically, it actually feels more natural than than Shane and Rick, where, where well, they yeah. feel it's a freighter, huh? really awkwardly it's frenemies by the end of it. And well, I understand that they tried to frame that because of the whole relationship thing with you know. Who really, uh, who really gets Rick's wife's love and, and that sort of thing, but the whole thing felt really... The problem was it stretched that conflict out over two seasons, and it fell apart. Oh no, this is the part where we have to fight Hobo Spy. <laughs> Hobo Spy, the role-playing game, now available from Dead Salesman Game. Was it? No! I'll put a link okay. in the show notes. <laughs> what would you have done with Lily? And thus begins uh, begins everyone hate everyone's hate of Ben. I know. Yeah, I really, I, never I really, him. Yeah, I he really never is at any point. Because no. it, you get game really goes out of its way to make you want to hate Ben. Yeah. Man. Really. It's with you guys are dead. I mean, we haven't really seen the tip of the iceberg like here, but how many times can this guy screw yeah, of up? Course. Ah, what the fuck is happening? Fixed camera angles. Making your life miserable <laughs> since 1993. Fucking... Legend of Zelda. I don't think that I was thinking so right Resident here Evil. is where Lily would make off with the, with the camper, but we're transitioning to the train now. She actually threatens um, you. Still looking around and haven't figured much out yet. Well, I, I went into the, to the RV to talk to her. And then she kicked me out of it and, and yeah. stole it. I assume that if you don't do that, she steals it some other point. She actually wins a fight with you. Oh, boo. Don't you have to go back into the RV to get the uh, tool, and then after that... Oh, that's stolen. right, yeah. yeah. You go you go in your pencil, in. and when you turn around, Lily has gone into beast mode and kicks you out of the RV. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. That Goes exactly into, that implies. Is, yes. Yeah, that exactly right there is the exactly of a doctor who knows exactly what she's looking at. Has Clementine said anything to you about Doug or Duck or anything? She's a vet, though. I'm worried about. Her. Yeah, th she knows medicine. The blind. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Besides, he's a duck, so veterinary medicine should work. Oh. That is the laziest pun I have ever seen you God. do in the history of this show. You were I couldn't finish it. I'm glad it. I didn't hear it, because I wasn't paying attention. You were having an what? off night, Rutsgarn. Yeah, it was terrible. It's like a gourmand sitting down to his McDonald's cheeseburger and uh, Diet Coke. I've seen yet. I'm sorry, you and... Oh. And halfway through, he just kind of looks in the mirror until he bursts out into tears. I liked him very much. He'd spent some time in Belgium. Where your family's from. Yeah. Ah, uh, so that's how you figure out where Koch is from. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. That line of dialogue or you obviously could just be an expert in, in obscure Radiator permutations of accents, Josh, from East, from Western Fine. Europe. Radiator could use a rest as it is. Yeah, yeah, cause, cause anyone can figure out their accents. Uh, the the handy thing for Belgians is that you can just refer to them as French. They don't mind. It just simplifies <laughs> things. You can just you can just condense the two of them into one group of French people. The most insightful thing Lee has said all day. The door is closed. Thank you, Lee. 
One day I hope to host Belgians so I can greet them Whoa. with like Belgian waffles and just like look, <laughs> put the plate down in front of them and like stare at them like eh 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 <laughs> and see how they react. Someone needs to set up a Tumblr of like adventure game characters pointing out the obvious where like if you click examine a plate the character just goes it's a plate. Looks unopened. Yep, it's a plate. There, there needs to be a Tumblr full of these. I demand it be created. See, now that was the information there. Looks unopened. Okay, now we know it's not an empty water bottle. We know it's a useful full water bottle. That was and we good, know that a hobo hasn't coughed up sputum in For example. Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. And I'm just going to listen to Kenny for no reason. To be fair, you didn't really have any other plan. Shit. Broken. Yeah, but I mean, you've seen Dawn of the Dead. Water is not the answer. Seamus has an analogy uh, that he told us dead. in the beginning of this episode. Like, you know, where basically the opening screen was a metaphor for the entire series. <laughs> is, this, is this the point where you want to point that out, Seamus? Yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> the choice in this game is not as free as it seems, and it is very railroady. And this is the perfect when well, once you get rolling in this train, uh, it will be just basically the entire series in a nutshell. Because it, you're on a you're on the railroad tracks, and Kenny's driving, and that is this game. Didn't I say the same thing about Half Life? I don't remember anything you said about Half Life. Yeah, that but Half-Life is, you're on the railroad tracks, and oh shit, there's a freight train coming towards you, and you've got to you've got to play chicken with it, get on the side, now guys are shooting at you, oh my god, it's just the best scripted event ever! And that's Half-Life in a nutshell. I don't know anything about you saying stuff about Half-Life, Camster. I don't even know what you're talking about. Definitely didn't say Half-Life sucks or anything. <laughs> you should... I do love you the internet meme video. of this whole, I, I, uh... Why can't I hold all these tools? Yeah. <laughs> but see. I can produce six food like, items, hunting rifles, a gun, from a flashlight, a hunting rifle, bus schedule, water bottle, shovel, dog collar. But do I want the wrench, the small wrench, or the small other wrench? Oh, continuity error. It's not dark inside the cabinet when we close it. Oh, now you've broken my immersion and ruined the whole game. Oh man! Really? Josh just... doing donuts? Did not do that? What? Oh, I was stuck on the, the ladder. I couldn't remember how to get down. Mm -hmm. So they broke... they break the uh, 180 rule. I don't know if anyone is familiar with, uh, you know, filming a movie, but the 180 rule is you're not ever supposed to cross the, the line of the uh, camera so that you're... The plane. Shot reverse shot. Yeah, the plane. You're supposed to do shot reverse shot, but always on the same side that the camera starts on so you don't get confused. When you go into that... Uh, uh, when you go into the... Uh, what you know, or the train cabin thing. Um, yes. It actually flips, so when you leave, you're jumping out from the other side, and it looks really weird. It looks like you're going through the train, but you're jumping back out onto the side where Katja and everyone is. I had the same problem. It was very disorienting for me. I was like, wait, which side of the train is this on? Um. Because yeah. now you'll come through you here, and now you're on this side, and it looks like you've done, like, a 180 and you're on the other side of the train, but all of this is oh, on the same sure, side. Is it? No, it isn't. What are you talking about? Yeah. Wait. You totally get out on okay. the east side of the train. If to we go are on the, the east side of the train, the thing we were looking at is on the west side of the train. I'm pretty sure. Is it? Shit. Yeah, I think so. But can't you get down off where we Ben is? Walk. Like Ben just did? In the tear. Yeah. Sure. But then, so it's all on one side of the train, right? No. No. Surely no, not. I will demonstrate to you that it's not on the same side of the train. The fact that there's confusion about this might indicate that there is, you know, some... Yeah. I felt confused a little bit. I'll say that much. I, I kind I of felt confused, confused about what was going on. That was fun. Um, I, 
I, f I felt confusion too. There is something wonky going on here about the camera angles. Can you imagine what this room would smell like? Oh my gosh. I An also like the space. Don't think this guy came back. I also like the breakdown here. Christ. Slightly decayed, somewhat decayed walker. Hit him with a wrench. It, his head caves in and your wrench gets stuck Pussy. in it. Pussy. Corpse that has been sitting in a chair for a few weeks. Hit with a wrench. Its head bounces off. Yeah, totally. Makes sense. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you What that. killed him though? Like half of his head was Boy. gone. It wasn't from high yeah, impact no. into the, the glass. I don't know. That's what it, it's it He was. shot himself. Yeah. No clue. There wasn't any gun. And then And then no, there, there is a gun around the gun. Is this what it looks like? Oh, is it? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. This will take us right to Savannah. Can nobody would want to be in this room. Like Kenny would not be like, I'm going to sit down in this room. Everybody would be like, let's open these windows and I'm going to sit down in his chair. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so foul. Figure out how to get it started. I'm sure we can figure it What's out. What's this little stain here on the sea? Well, Kenny, when you oh, perish, the, you see everything in your body relaxes. Man, if you could keep an eye on the girl, <laughs> oh. I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Well, at least Kenny's somewhat recovered. <laughs> Oh, a rock This is the last time Kenny asks Excellent. Ben to do anything. I'm not implying that, like, Ben fucks this up or anything. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure this is the last time oh, Kenny wow. trusts oh, Ben to do anything. Oh, I didn't even know this was out here. Yeah, there's a car yeah. out here, and it implies that th this is a puzzle. And I could, I, I didn't solve, if it is a puzzle, I couldn't solve it. That zombie has a health kit under him, but he's... I built it in. <laughs> Animal crackers are a health kit, Shane. Yeah, you just you just use a weapon. Oh, on whatever it is. Uh, you use yeah, you use like um a wrench or something on the zombie. That's what I. Well, mean. it's not giving me the option for wrenching here, so. You oh, might not have a long enough tool. Hang on. Oh, you have to open the door for one thing. Are, 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 are you saying I need some uh some enhancements no. for my tool? No. <laughs> oh, you are actually, fucking you, oh, terrible, what you do is, Lee. Yeah, no. What you do is you <laughs> unbelt him, and then you pick, no. Actually, <laughs> Josh, what you do is you unbelt it. What I did was I unbelted him, and then I slammed the car door on his head. Cause that makes sense. Guys, I found yeah. a zombie to eat. Who wants crackers? Huh. Animal crackers in my soup. But yeah, you're on the other side of the duck. thing now, by the way. Yes, we are on the yeah. opposite side. And now we're on this side with the with the people. This is the side you got yes. in, like I was saying. Right, yes. But it looked like you did a 180 earlier, and now it's clear that you got in on that N side. No, no, you came in through here. You get out on this Can side. Can we just agree here. that it's very confusing? It's not confusing! We... There's nothing confusing it's about totally it! It's totally confusing. I don't no, know where I am or what just my did name was is. Confusing. What you just did was confusing. You exited the cabin on the east. Shit, this is it. And then, which this took you around to the west. And then from the west, you have to go back to the east so you can go in through the through a door that's through the okay. west. Okay. Into the okay. cabin. Okay, assume, assume that... That... All of the people are on the east side of the train. The door out here, outside of the cabin, you enter from the east, walk through the length of the cabin, and go out on the west side. <clears throat> um, I just want to point out that these tracks are going east. Then so you get down the on the ladder on the, on the, the west side, side and yeah, you the walk people are on around the south side. to the east side. Whatever! And then you come over <laughs> here on the north side where There's this car is. There's nothing confusing no, Shane, about this. You're only, this explaining, this. Involved you're only here. explaining this to clarify this for us, right? <laughs> to make right, right. I'm confused. just trying to help you. So I'm dick. trying to help you out, Josh. Li likewise, you get in from the east. My mind is our best episode ever, by the way. Towards the front of the train here, and then you get out 
on the See, west right there, side right there. Stop, using stop, stop. the other door. This is where the camera broke the plane. And now you're going towards the front of the train, but it looks like you're still going towards the back based on where the camera yep. originally was. Actually, so we that's were where the camera was. See over there from. because because that door was used. Okay, how do I fucking solve this puzzle? I don't remember. <laughs> you have to grab the paper something. I don't know. I need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before. No, you, you also need the right tool. Do I need to turn on the the engine before I I do this? I think you I know. Need to do both. I, yes, yes, you okay, do well, need I'll to lurch that. forward to b bang it loose. So you need a pencil from the RV. Right. Yes, that's the next step, and then you learn the engine startup, which we will do next episode. Is that our cue to roll? <laughs> yes. Best fucking episode. Uh, should I restart yes. the stream so you guys catch up? Sure. Wait, am, I, am I in a different place? What? Well, Rutskarn has been way behind since the beginning, so... Stream should be going back up now. Well, he's on the west coast, Josh. Right. We just did that two, right? Where this is our third, this is our final... This will Wait, be our fourth the west episode. Coast? Is it no, or the no, this we, did, we did two! So we God we damn it, Seamus! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've done? Yeah, that's true, Josh, but see, this will be the fourth episode, because there was the one episode left over from the last time we recorded three weeks ago when we did five episodes. Seamus okay? is a helper. Right, but we've only done two, and right, plus the right. one is three, but and we need one more to be the fourth episode. Stop using confusing language. This is the third this week. <laughs> Okay, God so we damn need it! To do another episode, and then we will have. Okay, so we're about to do yes. our fourth episode. Yes, thank you. And we have. Ah. Uh. And you guys want to do a podcast? <laughs>